Hey, my honeys. So, today I am here with a challenge. L.A. Jones requested that we do a rice challenge. Okay? And y'all know the, the more you play with it, the what? Okay, now. So, I've been playing with it, and it's, it's getting there. So... I, it, it's coming off though because as we know by now I have a bald spot so and if you are new here to Kel's Nation honey please subscribe share like however you want to but just know that we're out here okay and we ain't letting nothing else bother us honey this is the rice that I would be using so California enriched rice from my understanding you don't, um, it doesn't matter what rice. So I believe this is more like a rinse for your hair, you know? What I'm going to do today is prepare it. I got my rice and I got a water bottle. Cause y'all know we don't have anything over here. We're limited with everything, so. I'm emphasizing, okay? You have to let this stuff sit for 24 hours for it to activate and all of that. All I know is you get one cup of rice to two cups of water. And that makes perfect fluffy rice. So I probably would just do the same demonstration here. Get myself one cup of rice in here and pour two cups of water. Look at my baby. If you have a lot of hair, you probably want to make a lot of this solution because as you go through section by section of your hair with it, then um, you're going to spray, spray, spray. You'll run out of that spray that you let sit for the whole 24 hours, and now you don't have any more. So that's about what we're going to use today. Look, feel like we're doing a science project. <laughs> I got another bottle of water, which I am going to pour over this. Nothing major. So I'm going to clean the rice. Look at that water. Cloud it. Okay. That's all the starch and everything being rinsed off of the rice or whatever. So when you're cooking rice and you have, you rinse it off, you just rinsed off that whole layer of starch. Now you will keep rinsing it in the uh, Chinese culture. You will keep rinsing your rice until the water is no longer cloudy. That way all that starch is out of there. You know, you would probably never get completely all of the starch, but you're not going to eat the bulk of that starch, which is this. That cloudiness. Yeah, so you just keep rinsing, rinsing until that's gone. And then you will have nice, clean rice or whatever. But I don't know in this case if that's necessary. So I'm just going to do one good shake on this. I'm going to pour the rest of that water out of there. That's how much of that cloudy water I got. It looks like milk. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See, I'm used to just rinsing it down the sink, so I don't ever just have it like that. Okay, so we have clean rice or whatever. Um, We're going to fill this bottle on up. Fill it on up with water. But when I'm cooking my rice, I do, I rinse it until it's clear. Okay, now at this point, right, it's a little... You can still almost see through it. We're gonna shake it up and see though. It's not as milky, guys. It is not as milky. You see, that's all of that starch. This is barely starch. You can even see the rice at the bottom. So that was pretty good for one rats, you know. And, um, this right here is gonna be our solution. Every single grain wet. Now, <clears throat> that's pretty ready, set, go. Okay, and we're gonna have to let that sit 
for 24 hours. I heard it stink real bad. Like, it's something that's uh, out of this world stink. But it's a benefit to your hair. And I have those bald spots. So let's just see what this challenge is hitting for. Okay? And also, uh, you're supposed to do it for, what, seven days? So... If this solution here, I will spray through my hair. If I don't use all of it, you better believe I'm going to use some more tomorrow of it. And then, you know what I'm saying, like the next day and so on until it's gone and just keep rebaking it. But other than that, guys, you do this for seven days and then you're supposed to see results. So we're going to see exactly what type of results we get being that uh, we don't have any uh, sides, no edges. Okay, that edge is gone. <laughs> Okay, this is our rice water after it has been sitting for 48 hours. So, as you notice that the bottom of the bottle is enlarged. It's like poking out. The whole shape of the bottle is disappearing. There's no lines. There's nothing. So, it's pretty much filled with the gases of the rice which has fermented and took all the protein and good extra stuff that we would need for these edges, hunty, on out of there. And that's why the water is so cloudy at this point because this is our juice, guys. You know, you got the juice now, kids. This is our juice. This is what we will be using or whatever. So, it's safe for seven days, but I don't know. We may do a few because <laughs> I heard it stinks really bad. Really bad, bad. So, yeah. This has been sitting here in a dark cabinet, and this is our rice water, guys. When we first, first did this, that water was very clear, if you remember, so this is very cloudy, and that's all good nutrients from that rice that was stripped in your hair and everything. So I feel like this is it, and we already said go, because I can't be walking around ball solid, okay? Not this summer, not on that birthday. It's not gonna happen. So, nice dark areas where I kept it, and this is it. The bottle is not even squeezable, if you notice. You know how water bottles are very flimsy? Like, no, this thing is taut. It's very full of some type of gas or something that this rice probably released. But we about to get on into it, because yes, I want to see. I'm, I'm kind of thirsty to see. So let's move along to the next step. Okay, so this bottle here was our solution, remember? And I used this little strainer thingy and put it in a glass. And I transferred it from the glass to this bottle here. Now I want to put this in there. It's upside down because the cap is off, but it's tea tree oil. Uh, Via Natural is the brand, I guess. Ultra Care. So it do stink, y'all. It smells like boot. Hey, I'm just putting it in. I don't care how many drops. I just poured enough. And they say that it's to kind of help it with the smell or whatever, but it does. It stinks really. It's, it stunk bad. Like I opened up the water um, bottle and it was like, phew, like letting loose gas. You know what I'm saying? And I knew that that's what that was in there, causing that bottle to do what it do. Because now I could squeeze it. Now I couldn't even squeeze it. So, yeah. But it's still, the bottom is still bubbled out like that. But, uh, yeah, once I opened it and it released that gas, it smelled just like gas. Like a little fart. So, I just put that in here and this stuff does stink terribly. I'm gonna shake all that in there after the tea tree. Oh my god, it is spraying out with it. Guess what, y'all? It was just spraying out of there by itself. Look, I'm not spraying that. You see what I'm saying? That's that gas. <laughs> okay? <laughs> that gas is in there. And all it's going to probably do is build up in there like it did in there if I leave it in there too long. You see what I'm saying? And it stank. It just sprayed over there and it stank. I don't know if it's that unbearable stink, but it really do stink. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, this little bottle getting tight. So, we might as well go ahead and get to it, guys. Let's get to it. Let's get to it.
The rice water is really just for a rinse purpose. I just had this little headband thingy in my head. That's it. Just holding all the hair up. While you're doing the rice water challenge, you don't want to put any stress to your hair. You want to just have it like, you know, out and about. So basically we're using it as a rinse and this stuff stinks. So I'm gonna be putting on the glove. I don't know how, you know, it sticks to your hands or whatever, but we're gonna put a glove on. So basically I'm gonna do sections. Because when you do the rice water challenge as well, you want to make sure your hair is conditioned. Now, they say doing it for seven days, guys, but we don't know. We may do five. My whole purpose is to get these edges back together. So, again, you see my edges. They were not like this before. I started doing all of the uh, frontals and sew-ins for all these reviews I had to get out the way or whatever. They were not like this. Now, um, doing that, putting one sew-in in, taking it right out to do another company and all of that, it put a lot of stress on my edges. It didn't affect my hair at all. L.A. Jones, here we go. We're going to try this out, see how it works. If not, you know, I have plenty other ways to grow hair, so I'm not really worried. I'm going to do little sections. I'm just going to bust it down the middle. And do sections on the sides like this. I'm going to comb through. At this point, your hair is probably washed and blow dry, so you will want to wash it. At this point, you really ain't using no heat either, guys. Like, you're just really winging this. So you're gonna wash it. You're gonna towel dry. And then you're gonna take sections after section, like this. First of all, I got a towel. Here we go. I don't even want it rolling on my face. Yeah, it stink. So I'm spraying it down on the edge for sure. Your scalp is what really needs, you know, goodness. So you can start with the scalp. And you know, at some point my hair is about to start shriveling because it was previously blow dry, but you guys wouldn't have blow dry hair. And if you did, this is what would happen. But now that we're actually starting the process, Let's make sure it's all through. If you have, if you ain't got no eyebrows, you could even throw it on there. It ain't nothing but a protein mixture. It's so effective out here that while you have this mixture in your head like this, you want to condition it as well. The conditioner can play like a little medium because all this protein in your hair will get real brittly. It could potentially get real brittly. Now we know that I have it all over my hair because it's starting to shrink it. You want to go in with a conditioner? I told y'all we're going to use this one. I'm sticking with it now at this point for at least some good uses. I had only used it once, then I used it again, so now this will be the third use of it. And when this is all said and done, I will go ahead and let this sit for uh, 20 minutes, 20 to 40 minutes with a shower cap. 
or probably not, you know. Anything with that shower cap is just getting um, some heat generated so that it'll really penetrate. But the stuff is so strong that um, we're really not letting that bother us. If you want to put a shower cap for the 20 or 30, 40 minutes, that's fine. If not, yeah, we ain't letting that bother. So my mixture already has the oil in there, but if you guys feel like you want to add some more oil, do it. It ain't hurting nobody. We don't actually know what the oil does in there. We want to put, may want to put some more. So once you actually get it in your head, it doesn't smell that bad. Like you done forgot about the smell. I'm working on one side right now, guys. I'm just breaking one side down. Combing it on out. And if it's just, if your hair is like real kinky and nappy, just comb it on out once you, um, get everything sprayed and laid on there. So once you get the spray and then the conditioner, cause that's gonna soften it up and then you'll be able to get right through it. Get them ends. That's, oh, it's drip, drip, drip. Them ends is very important as well. We know that that's in there because it's it's shrinking. Put your conditioner on. Massage it in. And comb it out if you hadn't already. The key to keeping your hair from tangling and brittly and all that, you have to comb it out. You have to comb it on out before any transaction. So before you do anything to it, whether you're gonna braid it up, whether you're gonna throw it in a ponytail, you have to make sure every complete section is combed out. And if your mixture is not, um, you know, you will put it in the refrigerator to stop it from fermenting, which means stops it from getting more potent on the um, protein side. It will probably be cold. You would warm it up. You could sit it in a hot cup of water or um, probably zap it. Pour it in the, um, pour this out into a micro microwave safe bowl or cup and just zap it and get it warm. Cause we could treat this as like a hot oil treatment. Since that oil is in there. What I didn't do was the test of how long my actual hair is. So this is my collarbone right here. Let's just say it comes to that ribbon. So it comes here. That's where we gonna base it, right there. So everything is done. It don't got to be perfect, guys. So y'all know I love my stuff now. Okay. I'm living by this every day. 
and it even got coconut oil infused in it. Coconut oil, I told y'all, is very good for the hair. For whatever reason, it grows everything. Eyebrows, lashes, everything. So I'm just going to let this sit with a, a shower cap, but I'm going to spray this over the edge. So it can penetrate and do its thing. So you're going to be doing this every day. Same routine every day. You need to overpower it with moisturizers and conditioners and stuff like that as well. So the protein treatment alone is just not enough. You're going to need some type of, a, you know, like a moisturizer or a conditioner. So I've just been using a conditioner that I have been using. And um, this, I'm going to rinse this stuff out. And then I'm going to put in some leave-in conditioner that I have. I showed y'all this one already. That probably be the one that I use because that's also a coconut in there as well. And it's a leave-in conditioner for curls. My purpose of doing this, guys, is because I know L.A. Jones, you wanted to see that. But I want these edges back now. So my purpose is for my edges. It's a whole plus if it works out on all of this as well. My hair looks so good, y'all. I'm just not... Like, I used to do a a, a, a two-strand braid like this, and it would be so skinny and thin. These are nice and plump and fat and on. Oh, okay, they just as cute as they want to be. So, yeah, I'm loving my hair. My hair is good. Our next step, though, will be clipping ends because I have not done that, and I felt like, why would I clip the ends now? when we about to see how much it grows you know what i'm saying so might as well clip it if it grows some inches all in one one okay so yeah we're gonna get to that later but i really want my edge that's what i want i know y'all sick of me looking like a mess but we got to get this stuff done so i was just spraying this on there i'm gonna let that sit i even was spraying it through the parts just to let it sit. Because we already got conditioner. This is not a rinse out thing. This is like a leave-in type of moisturizer conditioner too. This is how much solution I have left. I didn't need a lot. So I probably looks like I can use this for a couple days. Now I do have some more down there brewing in the cabinet and all of that. Getting ready just in case I ran out. But spray, 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 spray. I parted this down that middle. I got one, two, three, four. One, two. I got four on each side. Book up. I was done with it. So I'm going to get these edges back. That's what I'm going to do. The stuff don't smell that bad no more after everything else got mixed with it. You don't even. But my daughter, she just came in here like, Ma, why do it smell like butt? <laughs> That stuff really does stink, but the sun will shine another day. <laughs> we don't let that boil us if we want to get these inches. If you leave it in longer than anticipated, it will make your hair real brittle, and you don't want that brittleness. That's what we're trying to grow up from is the brittle and all of that. So just don't leave it in longer than two days, but I personally won't even be doing all of that because it's an everyday thing, I thought. Why would you leave it in two days? You don't want to braid on your hair. You don't want to put heat all on your hair. You know, you're doing a treatment. Let this treatment take its course, okay? You doing stuff that's going to damage your hair. Braids, for real, is not good for our hair. It grows our hair very well. But if you think about it, you're losing strands as you're braiding. You're losing strands as you're taking it down. That's not really a good thing for us. But if we use good products, our hair, are str our hair is strong enough to withhold some braids. Or whatever then that heat come on now we're definitely not supposed to be really doing all of that okay but we do it so if you using good stuff on your hair your hair is strong enough you ain't worried about a little heat on that head you know it's okay but you are doing a treatment on your hair that just requires itself it doesn't need anything else to work you don't want no tight ponies no braids no heat period do this for seven days see your outcome love it keep your hair conditioned moisturizer you're good be good to go eight hours later that's the ball spot it got a more of a peach fuzz it seemed like that thing was pink and shiny 
It was pink and it was shiny and it was bald. This is day one. I did not shampoo it or anything. I just rinsed it out. It does not really. That's some healthy hair, y'all. When you pull it and it just bounces back. I ain't never ever seen my hair like this. That means that hair is young, honey. You got a lot of energy and vibrantness to it. <laughs> when it take all day to go back like that, it's getting old. <laughs> it's bouncing right back. Okay, oh well. I like that. Now, I don't know if that's the difference from before with it. I don't know, but I'm just noticing my little hair at this point just I guess just looking at my curls, they look really nice. I love it. We tested it earlier just to see where it was at. Let's see where it's at now. It looked like it came down a little more, but that's just one strand. That ain't nothing. <laughs> we walked this whole gap to cup. Okay, y'all let me know now. Now we got six more days, maybe four. <laughs> but we got some more time to go, so we're gonna see what it do. Y'all see I am ball sided You know, I may wanna just go ahead and throw my little pony in or do something. Like I've already had a big forehead, but this is too much. <laughs> this is too much, baby girl. Look at that bounce back. Hey, Celia. Baby KJ just woke up. He took his bath first, then I went and took my shower. So now we about to go ahead and relax. It ain't nothing but like 7 o'clock in the evening where I'm at today. So this is my relax time. Check my emails, uh, edit some videos type stuff and all that. So I'm going to just throw in the leave-in conditioner. Let it air dry, high air dry, and call it a day I'm through, and I'll see you all in the morning. Okay, guys, this is day two. So... I still got my little solution. This is what was left from yesterday. And I was using this conditioner or whatever. But now, I want to use this conditioner. I forgot about this. I came in to show you guys that. So, it's a Dugro. And y'all know I've been talking about this Dugro, whatever. And I love Dugro. So, this is a rebuilding, thickening treatment or whatever. So, it's rebuilding the hair, thickening it on out, Dugro. And um, it helps thicken and strengthen with aloe vera protein and shea butter. All oh, goodness. Rebuilds and helps repair damage. It promotes thick, strong, healthy hair. And it helps reduce breakage, allowing hair to grow longer. So this is what it's, it's a little packet. And you pinch it open like, you know that. So I'm just going to pinch a little section because what's going to happen is, um, I got this from, they got them at Walmart. These are the little jars they come in. These is, this is actually the moisturizer. This is a grease base. So it's like grease, hair grease. And th this blue one is thickening. They have a pink one that's stimulating. They have a orange one that's for something else. So Dugro has a lot of good things for different hairs and then they have a lot of products that come with this so this is the grease but then you will have your shampoo you will have your conditioner you will have a leave-in treatment you will have a detangler and then you will have a grease for that color so i love do grow do grow is real good for that so i'm going to use this up until it's gone okay you won't use the whole packet in one use unless you just got real thick hair Basically, I had put my hair in three uh, two-strand twists going back. After I had washed it out yesterday, I put some conditioner in it. I put that leave-in conditioner in it. So right now, it's kind of uh, unmanageable. Like, it's, it's to the point. So shake it on up. Baby KJ. Spray, spray, spray. Now you know we're starting at the scalp because that's exactly how your hair grows, okay? If you have a healthy scalp, honey, can't tell your hair nothing. 
Now we really want that edge, okay? So I make sure I get it good in there. I want it saturated in there. It's gonna wake up the conditioner that's actually already in there. That leave-in that I had, it's gonna wake that back up. And then on top of that, we're gonna put this other stuff. But this other stuff, you have to rinse that out. That's not a leave-in. So just with that being said, Conditioning with this treatment here, this protein stuff, is very necessary. Overload, overload. It's never too much. We want to get that one section just good. Now it's manageable again. Where the fuck is that comb? Comb that through. You really wanna be organized, guys. I'm trying to get this done. I really was gonna do this and um, let it see, wash it out, and um, put some of that uh, Cantu on there so that my curls could be defined, my real curls, guys. I'm gonna start wearing my real curls. So just a little bit, you don't need a lot. And rub that through. Not me, I want it on that edge. I really, really want this treatment to help my edges, for real. But it does help the whole head. So it's like, it's a plus, it is a plus. But me being so petty, I would've just did the edges for seven days, cause that's what I really wanna see. We are gonna go back into Sealy mode and just hit it with a two strand twist. And this just helps you to stay organized. It helps each piece of your hair. You know, each and every strand of your hair is being protein treatment and moisturized and conditioned type of thing. So that's what this these little twists do. That shrinkage be real, y'all. <laughs> that shrinkage be real. So that section is done. I really want to focus on that. Now you just proceed and do the whole head like we did yesterday. I just wanted to really show y'all that, that conditioner that I had. That's our little nice little ball spot for real. That's what I really want done. I'm going to just spray some of that on there. So while I'm working on everything else, this will be penetrating through. Even though I'm not even over there yet. Oh, wow. Bust it down. This has made my hair tremendously thicky feeling. So now I have to bust it all down just to get it in there. So we do know that this is just a rinse for the hair, okay? So once you rinse it out, you're not going back in to shampoo it and do all that again. I got him in there watching his little... ABCs and one, two, threes. He must be getting bored with it. Cause he usually will watch the whole thing. It plays out for a couple hours for real. Then I go in there and sing with him and clap my hands with him and kick my little feet with him, feed him. And he'll fall asleep and then I go ahead and do some more chores or whatever I need to do. Take that conditioner, honey. Put it where you see need be. We got three strands done already. Now these are smaller, so I'ma just do that on the whole head and be done with it for the day.